boy side Ray Peck battling Staley in class five. First bucket of the game, absolute bomb, courtesy of Staley senior Byron Alexander. Now they get to work right away, have a 16 to six lead in the first. And here's DJ Pieta hitting that baseline three to add to that advantage. But Staley takes it 60 to 59. With this win, Staley secured a bid in the final four, giving them a chance to win a state title. Unbeknownst to the Falcons, a loss in the next round wasn't what would crush their state dreams. Well, the Missouri High School Basketball Tournament was one of the last things to be canceled over the past week. That didn't lessen the blow, though, for teams who had just advanced to the Final Four. We can't stand the end of the season because uniforms are turned in, lockers are cleaned out, and people disband. People go off to college, people graduate, and go into other sports seasons, other teams, and we miss one another. We'd like for our last opportunity to be together, to be you know, dousing each other with water and celebrating a state championship. We'd hate for it to be that it ends on a, on a bad note, and it, it often does, you know, it just, just often does. Staley worked their way back up to the playoffs in 2021, finding themselves in familiar territory. Good evening and welcome to the Liberty Fieldhouse. We're at Liberty High School and tonight's High V High School Game of the Week. Class 6 Missouri State Sectional Boys Basketball for a chance at the state quarterfinals. But Michael, this has been a one-sided affair. Staley has won four straight, four of the last five, dating back to the last two years. Can Liberty get it done on their home floor tonight? Liberty Blue Jays. Will now have a 12-game winning streak. They'll go to 24 and 4, and they're going to the state quarterfinals Friday night. Staley will end their season at 22 and 4. After another heartbreaking, unexpected end to the playoffs, all Staley had to look forward to was next season. Like, what are we going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to come and bring it? Or are you going to shy away? Are you trying to ball, or are you just trying to be on the court? So that's what it comes down to. I, I mean, I know we're talking about them, but what are we going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to bring it tonight? Are you going to bring it tonight? Or am I going to get your best effort? Or is this crowd going to see your best effort? This year is really no different than the rest, other than the fact that we have chance. You know, there's some years where you you don't have much of a chance. It would be a pipe dream to think that you would be able to get to where we all want to go, which is play in the Final Four and hopefully win a state championship. Um, that's probably in the 17, 18 years that I've been a head coach, only maybe been available to my teams five or six times to where you felt like you had the type of team that could maybe really, really do that. Um, this is one of those teams. I can think of the four times I've been to the Final Four and hopefully this year as well, you know, you'd like to think that we have an opportunity to do that. It's because of a point guard. You have to have that specific trait on your team. It's, it's almost near impossible to do it without that particular player. Your ability to gather the crew is what makes this fun and makes it go. The second you got here, the text groups got going, the open gyms got going, the winning got going, the culture, the fun, the big speaker got going. You made it cool to be a basketball player at Stanford. And your performance in the second half was stupid. It was insane. It was insane. Insane. It, on some nights when the, the guy gets his thousand point, it ain't that special. It ain't that, that's sick. That's sick. Kyan and his class of juniors with Larry and Jared and, and Caden Fish, along with the, the, the cameraman Yao, who's come along as a transfer student, and even Dantes and Dion, they know this to be a successful place to, to participate. Generally, teams that win have been coached really well, or at least have a really high IQ for what's good about basketball. And that's what's happening in our program. Our players are 
getting chances at the next level to succeed, and they want more of those types of players, and they know where to find them, and it's, it's at Staley right now. You gotta lock in and play. It all comes down to being responsible. How responsible are you willing to be right now? Are you afraid? Let us know. Don't just go out there. Coach, I'm scared. I don't want to play I'm in this game. Them. I'm scared of this game. I'm scared of the crust. So we can win. We'll get somebody in there. We'll find five that ain't scared. Let us know if you are afraid to play. And when I say this, it doesn't mean take off and dribble to the basket and do something silly. It means am I willing to play? Be effective. Am I going to pivot? Am I going to cut hard? Am I going to really want to get open? Am I going to post strong? Am I going to bend my knees? Are you willing to do what it takes to win? Although Staley fought hard, they took just their third loss of the season, falling to North Kansas City. While a team never wants to lose, there's always a lesson to be learned. We talk all the time about until the end of the season, it's just win or learn. There's really no losing, because we're going to come to practice the next day. We're going to get more games. We're going to have a chance at com competing in the playoffs. You'd like to think that you'd learn from winning as well. And we've done it 19 times this year. When we beat Lee Summit, when we've beaten Liberty, when we've beaten Oak Park, when we beat Northtown the first time. A lot of our wins, we weren't perfect by any stretch. We, we weren't, any imagination, we, we weren't perfect at all. We just happened to win. Play a little bit better than they did, they played a little bit worse than we did. Whatever it may be, we won. The loss hurts, but maybe that's where Staley's success comes from. They have earned their wins and it was never handed to them. With winning comes fans, and with fans comes momentum. There is no doubt in the coaches' and players' minds that the fans play a part in every victory. I love the student section. I love the crowds that we've gotten. And I think it, it speaks to the success the team has. It speaks to the, the talents. And there's the chance to see something you don't often see at, at high school basketball games. And I, I tell people that all the time. I, we're going to have a lot of fans because we dunk a lot. <laughs> Where the f*** that man just trying to get to the greenbacks? They really need y'all rest in I'm one of the best at getting the green. Just hop off a chair, she watching me face. Now she wanna be a part of the team.